This week on The Wire, many paying too much. Prices rise in September and rises set up another boom. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. And welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now our top story this week, many paying too much. So some borrowers are paying interest rates of more than 6%, costing them tens of thousands of dollars extra every year, despite an official cash rate, which is now below 1%. And this is following the RBA decision this week. Now, mortgage brokers claim borrowers are unwittingly being left off banks' standard variable rates without realising it. And in worst case scenarios, these rates could be more than double the cheapest rates which are currently available. Now, CanStar figures found that for borrowers paying rates as high as 6.3%, if they switch to the lowest rate of 2.89%, five years into a 30-year loan, that would save $163,000 over the remaining term. Now, mortgage brokers say they regularly see customers with interest rates starting with a six seeking out cheaper deals. They recommend that borrowers should check their home loan rates annually. An analysis by our finance manager, Erin Scully, found 15 lenders, including Westpac, City, HSBC, Suncorp and ME, reduced owner-occupied home loan rates in the past month for new customers, but not for existing borrowers. Scully says there are constant interest rate movements and customers must pay attention. Well, that's something worthwhile looking into. Next up, prices rise in September. So the revival in property prices in the major cities continued in September with movement in prices for both houses and apartments, and this is according to the latest figures from CoreLogic. The National Home Value Index posted its largest monthly gain since March 2017, adding to improvements seen in July and August. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Canberra and Hobart all recorded significant growth in their house price indexes in the September quarter, headed by a 3.6% quarterly rise in Sydney and a 3.4% increase in Melbourne. But in annual terms, house price growth is still being led by Hobart and Canberra. The September data from CoreLogic also shows solid uplift in capital city apartment markets. So all capital cities except Brisbane and Perth recorded monthly rises, while Sydney and Melbourne both up 3.3%, and Brisbane up 1%, all reported quarterly increases in their index for apartments. So now, moving on to our final story for today. So rises set up another boom. All the ingredients for another house price boom are in place, economists say, after prices rose in August and again in September. Economists participating in the Australian Financial Review's September quarter survey were surprised by the pace of recovery in prices following the federal election, interest rate cuts and an easing of lending restrictions. The turnaround has been sharper than we forecast just a few months ago, and that comes from ANZ Chief Economist David Plank. So auction clearance rates, prices and finance have all beaten our expectations. So access to cheap money combined with house hunters competing over limited stock have helped drive prices higher by 3.2% in Sydney and 3.4% in Melbourne. And that's over the last four months. So Macquarie senior economist Justin Farbo says that quite strong house price rises, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne, are occurring as interest rates decline and many households can borrow a lot more. UBS has forecast a 5 to 10% rise in house prices year on year for the coming 12 months, an increase it describes as a mini boom. So exciting news, however, I do think the booms will be limited more to Brisbane and Perth. I don't think there's enough fundamentals underlying the Sydney and Melbourne markets. But look guys, that's pretty much it from me. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now also don't forget to stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Now, finally guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. See ya.